you what is up juice crew how are y'all doing on this saturday morning um i am up at y'all can't see that i can't even see it uh it's 907 um i had my breakfast this time i just had a bagel and some sausage because I don't know about yesterday, but that that waffle, the waffle or the syrup tastes really, it had like a twang to it. So I think that batter is old or whatever, but it made my stomach hurt. <clears throat> That's the only thing I could think of because that was the only thing I had that early in the morning. And it tasted funny when I was eating it, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just up getting myself together. Um, I leave here, you know, at 11. I may be going to my brother's house for a couple of hours just to, you know, hang out a bit, look at, uh, chill with my niece and nephew, you know, stuff like that. Nothing really. And then be on my way to where? Hey, what is up, Juice Crew? So, I am in Montgomery, Alabama, for my stop. Um, the last time y'all seen me, it was like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. I went to my brother's house and hung out with my niece and nephew for a while, played with them. They beat me up or tried to beat me up, listen. And, um, yeah, spent time with them. And then started on my little truck on back to Florida's. Where am I at? I'm at a Comfort, Comfort Inn and Sweet. got some Burger King because that's pretty much the only thing around. I don't need McDonald's like this, so. Hey, what is up, Juice Crew? How are y'all doing on this Monday afternoon? I am just coming from, let me see if I can show y'all. Y'all can see. Sephora. Just coming from Sephora, right? Because I've been trying to pick up that Fenty shit, man. Every every fucking Sephora I go to, I can't seem to pick it up, right? I got one of the three things that I wanted. I finally got, well, when this came out, this is the Cocoa Butter Cleanser. So I got, mm, it smells good. Uh, it smells so good. They didn't have the, the little tray that it comes with. So that man was just sitting there looking at them young girls. He he just left because I just showed the uh, Fenty. Wow. Listen, they better watch out for themselves pretty much because I was about to go in there and tell. They should be watching out. Should I go in there and tell them? Cause they about to snatch them somebody up quick because it was two dudes in a in a pickup truck right one dude he was standing let me show y'all because when i turned the camera he was standing right there where my hand at he was standing right there and when i and when i flipped the camera around to show sephora he left he heard he walked he hurry up and got into the truck and left. So who was he waiting for? I didn't see no I didn't see nobody come out that store. Two little white girls, they went that away, but didn't nobody go this way. Anyways, minding my business. I'm praying for hope nobody gets taken or anything, but this is it. 
Mm, it smells. It does smell good though. It smells like cocoa butter. <laughs> um. So anyway, so I went in. I went into Sephora. Come now, girl. I get excited when I when I get <laughs> when I get new stuff. I get excited. <laughs> so I went into Sephora to get this. Um, also her lip, the lip gloss thing. I'm trying to find it y'all. I'm going to get that lip gloss, that cherry bomb lip gloss. That, and then, um, another somebody on TikTok, another influencer got me looking for this color wild, uh, curly. I'll show y'all a picture of it. It's on my phone. I can't show y'all now. But it's called, um, it's a treatment, a curly treatment something. She mixed it with, she mixed it with that do. Uh, product that I got, y'all remember that black owned? Uh, it's called the Do, the Do, and I got the mousse, I got the shampoo, and I got the conditioner. So she was like, if you mix the mix those two together, mix the mix the color wild curly treatment something or another, mix that with the Do, and it should do better than than it by itself because you know it, it tells you to do it by itself, but. It doesn't work for me like that. Like I have to, I have to have something else in my hair than just one product because it doesn't work. Well, at that time it, it don't work. So I'ma try it the way she said do it. Hey, be on the lookout. Y'all females trust. I know, like I told y'all what happened to me in St. Augustine. I'm a big plus size woman. I never thought that I would be harassed the way I got harassed being my size. You know what I mean? But this dude, he towered over me. That's another reason why I don't be dating. Um, I don't date tall dudes. 6'3 is my limit. 6'3, 215 pounds. That's my limit. If you bigger than that, taller than that, I, I'm not even dealing with you. That's, that's too much. I, I, I'm not. Because... He literally manhandled me. Like I said, that um, that Pepe Le Pew in real life, that was the most uncomfortable feeling I had ever. Like, I was scared. <laughs> I was skirt. Where am I going? <sighs> let me let me concentrate on this role, y'all. But yeah, us us women, it don't even matter the size anymore. It doesn't even matter the size anymore because like i said i just knew i was never gonna get swept up i'm never gonna get swept up not like these you know, little little girls out here i'm never gonna get swept up like that ain't no dude ever gonna be able to pick me up you know what i mean so when it happened like i say it was the most uncomfortable i was nervous i was laughing trying not to cry my knife was in my purse so it was like, oh my gosh, let me just, you know, ha ha ha, laugh at the situation, try to let, try to make it more of an um, positive, like if he leaves, he doesn't come back because he kept saying how he's going to come back. Oh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. Come back for what? I don't know you. You don't know me. I No. Try to get me to touch on his private parts, girl. Oh, talk about he gonna make me scream calling out Jesus yeah Jesus get this big ass nun dick having dude off me Jesus please that's what I be crying out the fuck <laughs> shit it's like oh my god these dudes these moves so anyways like I say women we gotta we gotta be careful out here these motherfuckers do not care about us they do not they do not. They do not. Do not care about us. They look at us as one thing and one thing only. Fuck buddies. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, y'all. Let me go into this Sam's. Get my water. Um, My water. My pizza. And my little frozen yogurt. And... Yeah. Oh, well, they put me on some sunscreen, honey. Pop 
clothes. Sunscreen I wear. I wish I had the 70 proof. Y'all, I got this bruise on my arm. Right here. I have no idea where it came from. Okay, so before I go into the hotel, I want to show y'all what I got from. So I just got two things of water. Because I was like, why get one? when I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna drink that, so, you know, keep me from, you know, going a whole bunch of times. And then y'all seen, I got these little mini Sprites. Um, because I drink a lot of water, <laughs> you know, I want a little something. And that little juice and stuff that, I mean, I like it. Ooh, my buzz, I almost fell. Y'all, I want him at a fair here in florida but i think i was in ocala florida ocala whatever um i need to get rid of this water it tastes weird well i'm trying to find that juice i guess i don't have but but i got these the last time i went i only ate i think two chocolate ones and one vanilla so this is something I kind of, you know, have for, oh, let me give me some water. That's the reason I came back here. Um, you know, the snack on is something that's not really gonna, okay, that's better, but shit, I can't, um, what was I about to say? Yeah, something to snack on, um, you know, y'all know how it is sometimes. Sometimes you don't want, a lot of stuff but you want something i actually need to be snacking on them now because <clears throat> i don't know what i ate when i was in mississippi but i ate something that did not agree with my stomach and i've been trying to fix it ever since and uh yeah so i've been trying to eat a lot of well i should be trying to eat a lot of no but what green stuff make me like lettuce and stuff when that make me go to the bathroom more I don't know I've been trying to find like eat crackers like stuff that's going soak it up or plug it up you know what I'm talking about <laughs> I'm just saying um TMI but anyways yeah well let me get my water I just want to show y'all that give me uh two or three of these waters and then go to the hotel. I need to edit again. I need to edit all the time. But anyways. Hey, what is up, Juice Crew? How are y'all doing on this Tuesday afternoon? It is 1.18. Why do I look blurry? Let me wipe my camera a little bit. That's a little bit better. I am at the laundry mat washing my clothes and filling out an application to the hotel I was just staying in. Um, I don't know if I want to tell y'all because if I get hired there, y'all gonna come see me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm filling out some paper, y'all. I haven't filled out paperwork in forever i had to come to my car and get my old uh about to say transcript <laughs> my old um my old resume so i can fill in the stuff that you know i have to fill in because it's like girl i ain't filled out an application an appointment application in forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean, since 2000. Oh shit! My last job was 2000. 
put in my time 2016 so my last job was March of 2016 that's when I put in my two weeks notice in uh, March the 10th I think my brother's birthday was my official day that I was that was my last day or that I was gone so yeah I haven't worked since 2016 and uh yeah, so anyways, I'm filling out my application. Um, I told her that I would bring it back up there. Um, and, yeah, because actually, I was working. Girl, I'm just going to make a copy of this resume. Mine, well, no, because I don't live in Houston anymore, so... Whatever, I'm just gonna put this on there. Uh, put what I can put on there. Do they want employment history? Listen, I worked for United from 2012 to 2016. And yeah. Maybe I should put that in there. Worked as a team member performing cashier duties and, and product assistance while providing excellent customer service. Uh, yeah, that's it. Setting up for set designs and visual display. That's when I worked for Walgreens. Yeah. Well, I can, I can. I can do team things or whatever. Um, yeah, so actually I just wanted this for my... For... Girl, I don't even remember. What was I, what was I paid? What was my pay rate? I, uh, start date was sometime in October. What, October... <clears throat> October is 10, right? September, October, yeah. 10, 2012 to 03, 2016. My final pay rate. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. So I'm just gonna guess. Reason for leaving. Because uh, I actually did that. My reason for leaving was I was moving to Florida. <laughs> Supervisor name was. Something with an S. I don't know. Sherry, Cheryl, Sheila, Sheila? No. Miss Sydney, Miss. Cause I can see her, I see her face. She had red hair, glasses, like freckles. Her name was Miss. Hey Miss. Hey Miss. It's somewhat it is, I don't know. My job description, I was a refund processor. Off the processor correctly. Okay. Work perform. So 
researching incoming and oh I can put all that. Cause I got research, research, incoming inquiries regarding status of domestic and international refund claims, refund amount of refund amount or claim disputes, process domestic and international loss ticket applications and uh, files in order to listen. Correspond with customer travel agents, other airlines and international departments via email or letters regarding refund amount or claims. I can put that one in. Correspond with customer travel agents, other other airlines and international departments via emails or letters regarding refund amounts or claims to speak. Oh damn, I put that in the wrong one. <laughs> <coughs> References. I put my little brother. I put my brothers down. Other than that, I have no. I don't have no business. No. Please list references that are not related to you or not past employees. I ain't got nobody. So I'm a I'ma see about if I can just turn this resume in, scratch out this top, <laughs> scratch out this information at the top and just, you know, hey, this is all I can give you because I, I I don't listen. I haven't worked in so long, but she was just telling me I was oh my god, she helped me so much with a lot of stuff, y'all. It's like I was meant to talk to this person. You know what I'm saying? That's why I talk to people sometimes. Sometimes I be saying to myself, Dang, you talk too much. You talk too much. Like, why are you talking so much? Why are you telling all these people your business and stuff like that? Because sooner or later, you're going to run into that person who can actually help you do something. And she can't really help me like financially or anything like that, but she, she helped me. And the fact that she told me the person that she, that helped her get her home, um, the person that helped her get her home, she gave me the the loan lady, the mortgage lady person, and as well as a realtor. So I'm like, okay, that's that's good. This is like right up my alley type of thing. Like I like, I not that I well, I like that you know, cause I help out people. Um, I help a lot of people. I've, I've, I've helped a lot of people. Let me say it that way. And so, you know, and then I asked her about, you know, do they drug test and all that stuff? She was like, no. I was like, ah, ah. you really, you, you really, you really, you, you, you know what I'm saying? I cried when I got in the car because I felt, I feel so I don't want to say bliss, but you know, I don't, you know, it, it's like, you know, they put people in your life for reasons. He, he, the most high ancestors, all that good stuff. They put people in your life for reasons, right? And so I feel like that was a reason why I stopped and talked to her this time because I talked to her any other time. Like when we, when I come in and stuff like that, I speak to her, hey, and stuff like that. And she just was, you know, just very nice, a nice person. And so, you know, to... To have that happen at that moment and to know that I wanted to work at a hotel that would give me, you know, something, some time or something like that to where I can, you know, still find a place, have a place to stay and all that stuff like that. <clears throat> so it's like that, that right there was good for that. All this, all the information she gave me was good. It was nothing bad nothing you know not bad but you know what i'm trying to say like this this is gonna help me yeah and i cried because of how blessed i feel that you know somebody 
somebody is there to help you know it, it's just not me it's it's not just me that's working that's doing this by myself you know like there's actually you know people that actually care there's actually people that you know want to see me do good besides me doing stuff for them and I don't get nothing in return so you know it's it's it fit it fit blessed blessed to the utmost to I like I say I'm very grateful I'm very grateful in all the things that have happened to me even you know even the negative ones because the negative ones brought me to the positive things that I'm supposed to be around or, or know about or, or whatever like that so it's like it's just I can't explain it y'all know y'all know how it feels if you don't know then what are you doing in your life that you don't know blessings or you, that you don't you know I'm not saying you know anything's wrong with you or anything like that but my gosh I seen this one thing on TikTok once again I'm always on TikTok and the man said explain your life in one word the lady that she was she did like the stitch of it and she said sewing s-o-w-i-n-g not sewing with a needle because you know you when you sew out you get the reap and i think where i'm at now is i'm reaping i'm reaping what i sold oh my gosh <laughs> I'm going to try not to cry. Okay. So. I can't even get the words out. I can't even get the words out. Because I said it before, right? But I didn't say it like I'm telling. Like I'm talking to y'all. So I just said it yesterday. I choked up a little bit deep. But I'm reaping what I sowed. Because I've been a help for so many people. Like, people know to come and, uh, you know, anytime they need anything from me, they know how to come and ask. You know, I was always misdependable. People knew to ask me if, you know, watching kids, helping them move, cleaning houses, doing just stuff for them, anything, right? People knew to call me, you know. People don't call me to hang out and go places with them and all this stuff like that. I'm always someone's last result type of thing, right? But I never, you know, gave up on people in a sense. Like, I always felt like, you know, if I do something nice for this person, you know, I get it in return. So, I've always, I've been sewing, I've been sewing, I've been sewing y'all since I was a kid. Right? I've been sewing since I was a kid. And now I'm at I'm now I'm in a now my life, I'm the rest of my life. I'm reaping what I sold because I've been doing this all my life. All my life. <clears throat> I don't know how to be a I don't know how to be well, I can be a bad person if I wanted to be, but that that doesn't that doesn't that's not me. I'm not a bad person. I don't go out looking to do harm to people. I don't, I'm not looking to manipulate, you know, just, I don't go out searching to do that to people. So, you know, I've always been just that, 
that nice person that people just take advantage of or whatnot. So, anyways. <clears throat> so, when I seen that on TikTok and I said it, and I said it out loud the first time, this is the second time I'm saying it. And, like I say, I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful for everything that's been happening to me. Like I say, whether it's negative or positive. Y'all don't know, man. <laughs> I've been blessed so much. I don't talk about it because it's like, it's not it's not for me to talk about. It's just for me to accept, you know. I've been blessed so... <laughs> I know when something bad happens, something, something good is going to happen. So, I don't... I take it. I, I look at it and I get upset the first time because it's like, dang. Like another upset or, you know, something like that. But then... You know, a couple of weeks later, it's like, oh, sh you know, it's, it's something that something good that happened. So, it's like, I may be like this boring person, this person who don't do anything and all this stuff. I know I am. I know the type of person I am. I know that's why I don't, I don't have friends and stuff like that because I don't do a lot of stuff that people do. And, that's, and I'm cool with that. You know, I'm boring. I, okay, good, great, whatever. But, you know, I still live life the way I want to live my life. Like, I don't have to do all this fancy, I don't buy, I won't buy I don't buy name brand shit. <laughs> I don't, well, you know, some name brand stuff, but I don't look to go out and spend money on other, uh, on that type of stuff. All that, all that shit that don't mean nothing to me. So, you know, yeah. That's all I want to say, y'all. I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. I ain't a time, of, it could, there, there be times where you could, you be, that you're the same. Like why me? Ugh, why me? Why me? You know why I have to? Why this have to happen to me? Like why me? I said that you know for a long time when I was young. Like dang, why are these people steady? Why like why? What am I doing to these people for them to be treating me like this? Like what am I doing that's so wrong that makes everybody treat me like this? You know that's how I. That's how it used to be. It's like damn. What did I do? <laughs> like, what in my past, my karmic past or whatever, was like, what did I do to deserve the treatment that I've been getting from certain people? You know, I'm just... So, anyway, so, <clears throat> let's be back on a positive note. And, um, yeah, once I'm done here, I'm going right back to that hotel. I'm going to... Um, give her my thing she she even told me i can start tonight she can start me tonight i was like damn tonight i had to think about it i was like oh hold on hold on not tonight you know i just got nervous you know how you get nervous and shit like that but i don't know if i'll work tonight but if she has plans for me you know i can work tomorrow the next day you know i can start i can start you know as soon as possible um, she just caught me off guard when she said tonight, shit, if she, if I, if I book there and I just come up there and, you know, well, I don't think I could book at that hotel. I think I have to book somewhere else and then come here. But anyways, uh, shit, I'll be up there with them. I'm there all the time. Anyways, I speak to all of them anyway. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I'm ready. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am. I just had to, you know, shocking sometimes where things just happen to you right there. You don't you don't know how to act. So I'm kind of acting out of being scared, acting out of being, you know, normally I would um, kind of shy away or, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, I just told her, I was like, you know, I gave people chances, you know, I give people chances. I would want somebody to give me a chance too, you know. I'm I'm willing to do the shit. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to I'm willing to and I'm willing to. So, you know, that's and yeah, so we gonna we gonna do this. We doing this, y'all. We is doing this. We is doing this. Woo! I didn't, I tried not to cry, y'all. I, <laughs> I tried not to, but it's it, it. You can't. It's the emotions, the the gratefulness, the blessings, the 
however you want to say it. I don't speak of my business a lot, you know. Um, certain business, certain stuff, y'all know everything about me. Like I don't, I, I don't hold my mouth, my tongue with certain stuff about me. But then certain stuff about me, um, you got to get to know me personally for me to tell you any other my business. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, so, but yeah, let me go get my clothes because it was three four, it was three minutes, four minutes, and five minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hey, uh, what is up, Juice Crew? Have I talked to y'all today? Yes, I have talked to y'all today. Um, I was crying and everything. <laughs> but I am in my extended stay room because guess what, y'all? Guess what? Guess what? I got a job. Did I tell y'all that? I don't know if I told you I actually had a job. I said I was applying for one. But yeah. I got a job at a hotel that I have been staying in for like a minute. So I can't tell y'all what the hotel is because I have been staying there for a couple, couple of vlogs. So maybe when I get more comfortable and stuff like that and they're fine with me letting y'all know and y'all can meet me at my hotel, you know what I'm saying? Stay with me. Stay at night with me, you know what I'm saying? Chill with your girl. We can't smoke or nothing, but you know. <laughs> yeah, that's my job, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so I'm just unpacking. Let me put y'all here. I should have brought my tripod, but I brought so much shit in here, y'all. So maybe once I um Maybe once I, I don't know, once I put up all the stuff that I have, nothing but snacks. <laughs> cause uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, have a little lunch, a snack lunch, cause that's all I eat. I really don't eat food for me. So I bought me a lot of little snacks that I can snack on throughout the day. Um, What's his name? Kev on stage. Said something about these here. This brand of gummy bears uh, that has whatever the other one, Hasbro, is that what their name is? Harsbo, Harvest, Harsbo, whatever. That this gives them a run for their money. So I want to try. I tried to find this in, I don't know, a lot of stores, but I've seen this in the Dollar General. So I picked it up. I got me some mitts. So, you know, being in people's face. You don't want your brush being hot and stuff, and I don't really like chewing gum like that, because, listen, I don't like chewing gum like that. Um, I need to be sanitizing this down. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I got some um, beef sticks. Yeah, they didn't have no turkey or no chicken or anything like that. So I just got these here. Yeah, I'm gonna only have to eat three of these because the sodium is 410. And then I got some goldfish. I really don't eat goldfish either, but something to snack on. And you know, I really don't want to bring like a bag of chips or nothing. I got these little sandwich bags that I'm gonna use to put my little snacks in. I got my little lunch, I got a little lunch kit. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, now for here, I got some Cheetos and I got some cookies um, and I got a Subway sandwich. I'm trying this, the garlic one over again. Um, I don't know what, what was wrong with the, I don't know. We gonna see. 
I can't, I don't, I don't want to blame it on Mississippi Subway that made my stomach hurt. Maybe it was just a lot of stuff that I was eating that day. Anyway, y'all, um, this is all the stuff I brought in so far. I have to go to my stores to get my air purifier. Um, all of this, all of this, I washed today. So I brought in the clothes that I washed pillows and covers and all that good stuff i'm pretty much seeing the room so that was the tour it's a queen suite it's like a you know like a studio apartment got a little kitchenette bathroom is over there in that little um the little alcove thing it ain't much it's a this is like a handicap room i think because let me show y'all here Damn. Ah. okay so because it has all these rails on it and then it has this thing on it and got that bench chair thing in there and you know it has a lot of stuff Hey. So yeah, I think I'm gonna make one big towel the rug. Better. I think I'm gonna make one big towel the rug in here. One big towel the rug in here in the kitchen. And then use the whole cover. <laughs> And then use the whole cover as something on this floor because I don't like these floors. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But these type of floors, they don't really clean them good. They don't really sweep too good. And it's like, yeah, I put on socks because I don't like my toes touching this, this floor. But uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm about to just unpack all my stuff, start folding some stuff. Uh, I have to upload a video. I already, I've already uh, edited and all this stuff. It's already. So, oh, do I have a thumbnail? Yeah, I say I have everything done. I don't have a thumbnail. But um, yeah, so that's it. Let me, like I said, get my stuff together. I'll show y'all what I got from Walmart later. Uh, I have to go to Tory 2 to find some pants. I'll tell y'all that in a minute, but just let me cool. Let me. But I have to come in and tell y'all, so. <sighs> so excited. Hey, what is up, Juice Crew? I'm waking up in not a good mood this morning. I'm supposed to be, you know, I, I start work today. And. I understand people got animals. I understand that stuff, but babies, fur babies, and all that bullshit. But can you control them motherfuckers? So I'm packing my shit up. They're gonna have to move me to another motherfucking room. I should've got, I should've went on the second floor, like the lady was saying. Cause, nah. Nah, man. I gotta wait till housekeeping come through and clean shit. So that's gonna be probably when I leave to go to work. Ooh, y'all hit that sign. Probably when I leave, when I gotta go to work. <laughs> so yeah, I'm up early now. I might as well stay up. I'm gonna go to Target and see if I can find um maybe another polo shirt because the polo shirts I got are um polo shirts. I got my uh. Let me show y'all. Cause I got my uh. Ooh, y'all see me? I'm naked. <laughs> I got my clothes ready. Um, I had to go to Tory, you know, to find some pants because I don't have pants. I have leggings. And Lord, thank you for the clearance. For the clearance um, side because the regular side, they didn't even have like pants. They had like a, the highest they went up. It's a 26. Y'all know I'm a 28. 
and sometimes a 30. But I couldn't, um, they didn't have any of their regular size um, pants that were in my size. But anyways, this is one of the shirts I got. Because it's supposed to be black, blue, or gray. The gray one is okay because it only has this little, you can't really tell. This little bit of, like it has this little polo thing on there. So this is not as no noticeable as the black one. The black one has a red one on there. And it's like, that's the only one I can actually find. So I just got both of them. But I'm going to go to Target. And then I'm going to go to Kato's and see if I can find me some more pants. Um, so, yeah. But I got these pair of pants. These are high rise relaxed trousers. Come on now. This is the only thing they had. If I can get them off this bag, cause she just folded them up. Fold, whatever. Okay, y'all. So. Okay, so I got these. You see the price for $69 on clearance. And this is the only thing they had that was close. Okay, so that was the only thing they had that was close to my size. And I got it. So, I got me some long black pants. I'm going to go to Kato's and see if I can get... Um, some blue pants or some khaki pants or something like that and yeah target if i need to get uh some polos another polo or something i don't know we gonna see i should have well i ain't gonna say i should have because i went to walmart first and i can normally find stuff at walmart and target is just expensive so i wasn't gonna i wasn't trying to find target shit anyways but That's the little one. That's a big one. It's three of them. It's two big ones and a little one. Like, what are you barking at? Because there ain't nobody outside. Anyways. So, yeah, I'm going to do that early before I go in and, yeah, pack up all my shit. Hopefully, I can have something, um, you know, before I leave, I can come back and have it. Because I think the earliest you can go in is like 2 o'clock or something. Or check in, it's 2 o'clock. Oh, I'm glad I got my speaker. Let me let me uh, pack myself up and then uh, I'll come back to y'all. I don't know, maybe later, maybe while I'm working or something. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> 